Thank you, Dwayne. In fact, uh, I think we've learned one thing. We are not, we are not truth pushers, but uh, we are pushing what makes sense. So that's one very important thing I've learned. I'm not concerned about truth. Uh, so thank you for that. Okay. Um, there is a saying that uh, there is nothing that we know or that exists that has never existed before. From the ideas, uh, from ideas to what ha what is discovered or, or would I say uncovered. So could it be that the concept of the is had been known, had died out, and just been vigor uh, vigorously revived by the new man? If we have to take this, uh, uh, we have to uh, examine this uh, this idea or this uh, thought that there's nothing that exists now, or, or from ideas to any physical thing or whatever that has never been before. So, uh, can it be said that the the new man has just uh, invigorated and uh, deepened uh, the concept of the East that has been that has been known before. So uh, I came across the words of uh, of somebody. It's called uh, Teach Nat Han, uh, who who writes uh, about the works of the of the Buddha. So that's what made me to ask this this question. He says, life is available only in the, in the present moment. This is a simple teaching of the Buddha, but very deep. So if someone asks you, has the best moment of your life arrived yet? I say many of you would probably say the best moment of your life has not yet come. But the best moment of your life will never come. Yeah, probably because it is right now. Well, this may be referring to the personal life, uh, but it shows the desire, or it shows uh, how the concept of uh, the ease is interwoven into the fabric of uh, daily life. So, what what can you say about this trend? It's very simple, Charles. You have discovered a truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been the, best, the shortest uh -huh. answer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you, it all leads up to this, doesn't it? You discovered a truth, Charles. There you go. Yeah, very real. In what sense, God? Yeah. That's what I see. You've discovered a truth. So again, uh, yes, the the reality of life, it's exactly that. It all is, whether it's creation or whatever. No matter what is created, no matter what ideas are shared or buildings or, you know, etc. cetera, uh, no matter what, what is created, it it already is. And so people have been given the idea of creation, so they think that there is a starting point and possibly an ending. And usually the ending is always some kind of doom, isn't it? It's predictions and prophecies and all these things. Well, this is going to be the end of life and God is going to destroy this or destroy the earth or whatever. It's always a beginning and ending. Uh, but realistically, uh, once you really see what life is, it is an isness where everything's available and it's always been you deciding you know, what you are to do, recognize, see, figure out, whatever. It's an isness. This really is. It, it always is. And that's just another view. But what happens here is, is that, yes, we do set up things like the new presentation 
like the governments, the politics, the spiritual paths, whatever. We set up these things. And then, uh, for the most part, most people, because they don't understand how creation and life is, they don't understand this isness yet. So what they do is they decide to be become mentally and emotionally attached to the ideas that they've created and agreed to. That becomes the difference. And then from there, they add to it, and it gets a little bit stranger and a little bit stranger until it becomes ceremonies, rituals, tradition, all these things. It just it just the same thing over and over because the, re, the true reality of life is, it, it always is, it's invisible. But yet, it's invisible to what we're deciding and creating here with our one-dimensional view in a physical sense. But with your real awareness, it is visible. You see, because it has its own sight, you might say it has its own scene. And again, this we've created this simulator because we need this experience as a comparison. But we get caught up in it. That becomes the difference. So what you've stated there, if you're going to relate to it as something, it's very simple. Yes, it is a truth. That's that's what you might say is a real truth because it's an isn't it is now. But, you know, just like Eckhart Tolle talks about now. But he he uses the spiritual and the God connotation. He adds that to it, you see? And by the very fact that he adds that to it, okay, now that now becomes something a little bit different, you see? And besides, he doesn't have the real guides in life back, you know, so he doesn't have the all aliveness life is. He doesn't have that. He has ideas. And... He's talking about a now that's of a specific, of a particular, but it's not the real now. No, it's a simulator. And just like when people see, when they do the spiritual exercises neck in the old days, and, and now they see the light, but it's the astral light. It's not the real light. They can't take the real light. They got to take the knowledge first before they can get to the real light. And they got to recognize that. And even if they have the experiences with the real light, it doesn't mean they recognize that. Again, how many people recognize what the sun is demonstrating? Just about nobody. And it's right in front of them every day, but they still don't recognize it. Why are you here? You're here to recognize the whole of life, not just to build things and make a little house to live in and then feel happy about it and become emotionally attached to it. Okay, you can do that, but that's all you'll have. Uh, Etc. And people want freedom. Well, there's no freedom in that. It's restriction. So, Again, yes, you did discover a truth, and yes, uh, the Buddha way, okay, so they use that as a reference, which is fine. I use Rebazar as a reference because they're the real guides, and they stand real in the real universes. Does Buddha stand in the real universes? No, he doesn't. He's in the astral worlds. That's where Buddha is. That's as far as he can see. But it's a cute idea, isn't it? It's all cute. And, and again, it's choice. Look on the real site. You'll be shown. There's a bigger view if you'll go after it. But um, yes, Charles. Uh, yeah, let's sum all this up. But uh, again, that sound good idea, guess what? The real guides, the true silent ones from the is, and the isness and the whole of life do not support it. There's the difference. There's no aliveness in it. It's just an idea like the buildings you see. It looks like they're alive because people are coming and going, right? And the Trump Towers and the White House, whatever. But, you know, you clear those people out. You see it for what it is, don't you? It's just an empty building even when the people are there. Yes. Because there's no life here. This is a simulator. The real life is your real awareness. And so these sound good ideas are cool but what backs that up? That's like having the wiring in your house, uh, you know, all there and the outlet's there. But then you plug something in. It ain't working because you know what? You ain't got no electricity. It's not there. You ain't got no gas for your car. It's not there. The boys, the, the, the reality life is. The new you is the real connection now. All these other things. There's no backing there's no reality with them, but they do look good. They do sound good.
So yes, you did discover a truth, uh, Charles, and it's a one-dimensional one. It sounds good, but look to the real side. Test that. Look to the real side. What's behind that? What's behind this guy that's saying this? Who's backing him? See, who supports him? Uh, that, that'll be a fun experiment, won't it? Mm, would be. Yeah. So let's sum be. it up here. No, you're wonderful. Uh, did you want to say yeah, one? Let me, let me have go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. one one. Oh, yeah. go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go back to what uh, you, you said uh, last week. It kept me uh, contemplating the whole week on it. Uh, and I... And I settled on this thought. Now we're talking about uh, the use of uh, maybe uh, material belonging to others. Uh, you talked about it, but with the intent to create a benefit for all life or to serve life. And, that, and, and the fact that your own books have no intellectual property rights. So I... I looked at this. I want to, I want to say that, uh, or rather, I, look, I, I see this. I see that you want to say that everything that life has offered is for all life and should be shared freely. So this universal position is in stark contrast to uh, the limited personal, uh, one-dimensional view. Uh, of uh, of uh, the vast majority of people, where the emphasis is on the advancement of the personal self and the material uh, acquisition. Uh, to the extent that we have uh, uh, copyright laws, uh, brand names that should not be infringed upon, intellectual property rights, patents, and all the like. And uh, the main aim is to uh, is to create a monopoly and to maximize uh, profits to get as much as possible uh, materially from one's uh, 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 creation. And uh, if we if we consider that this creation has been uh, what you have perceived, what you have stumbled upon, has been given by life, then it needs to be shared. Uh, freely with others, uh, but people have uh, have personalized everything. So I, uh, that is what my, what I could distill from, from from what you said last week, and then uh, there's the element of uh, taking the risk too that I considered. Uh, why is it necessary? I thought about this. Is it that you are, you are actually not uh, you're not an outlaw you're not um, uh, what would I call a libertine no was Paul Twitchell uh, no every other person who is trying to share something out there uh, this element of courage I uh, or taking the risk, you know, like Paul, uh, Paul Tucher said, it is not the pious, uh, it was use the God idea that will meet God, but the bold and the courageous. Uh, now it is the, 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 the risk taker. So this, this risk taking uh, on the outer, uh, I look at it as an ingredient that helps to build our inner courage uh, that will make us uh, uh, to actually uh, be able to sail across uh, all these the, the, the physical and psychic worlds into uh, the real universes and that without uh, this courage, we keep adopting this uh, uh, pusillanimous uh, uh, attitude, this uh, fearful attitude uh, to everything. We are not. We are not building our courage, and uh, 
uh, we will remain like doves, you know. And I also consider that uh, the new the new man is not a dove here. Uh, he's come as an eagle, and uh, he has to demonstrate those qualities. And uh, I think they are the qualities that we have to em em emulate too. So I looked at this from from this angle, and I saw the necessity uh, uh, to uh, to build this courage into our outer life here, uh, which will which will uh, act as an as an impetus, which will act like fuel fuel for our journey uh, uh, through life. So this is what I, I could, this is what I, I made out of what you, you said. I don't know whether I'm off track or, or I've hinted on some, some, some truth. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it's always going to move around, Charles. Everything does. And so, again, it, there's no absolutes here. You're not going to be able to just perfectly pinpoint things unless it's, uh, you know, again, math, two and two is four. Or, okay, we, you know, we've created the wheel for the car and this is the best we can do, but there's always a better wheel. There's no absolutes with it. And so uh, I've chosen um, not to take the time to copyright the books. It's a lot of hassle. I tried to do something like that in the past. And you know what? It's just a lot of hassle. Uh, the government sends me back the forms. Oh, you didn't fill this out right. This is this. You know, it's like, you know what? The heck with it. I don't really care. You know, it's like the birds, you know, they're going to build a nest here. They're going to build a nest there. I, I'm going to keep writing and producing. It's out there. There are people that uh, do hold on to it and share it and whatever. So that's going to be a given. And it's always updated itself. And so uh, in a way, uh, I like that idea. It, it's like that, uh, uh, you know, let people take it just like you last time, you know, uh, you know, wanting to publish the book i'm prompting you on i'll do it i'll even do the book covers and put your name on it yeah all i care about is that you know what <laughs> share it because here's the idea you know we all earn our way and even the boys the real the real guides you know why they like the adventure and what i'm doing simply because when i decide the adventure they just like you are prompted to do it and they support me as I support them. That's how it works. So when people get involved in the activity, when they buy one of the books or whatever, and I usually give them away because you know what, here it is. But now it's Kelsey's there and she's handling it and she's tough. And she's, you know, she's charging for it. Well, you know, we need to support ourselves too. You know, we use every, we use marketing ploy also, but it's for the benefit. But, you know, when people step up and they buy a book, you know what they're saying? Hey, I'm supporting you, Duane. And by that very fact, you don't think life sees that? Oh, it does. And the boys see it. So they step in and support you. See how it works. But a lot of people are thinking, well, this should be free. Well, okay, have fun. The idea here is learn to support everything. Learn to support those who will support you, you know, honorably. And that's the real guide. So I support them. I promote them. I give it away for people to know Rebus are. And there's a much bigger picture that this coming, that this world does not, cannot even realize yet, but it will. This is the fun part. I decide the adventure, just like Paul did. And when the boys like it, they go, yes, this is what we're doing, Dwayne. We're, uh, we're going to complete your request. And so I decided the vessels. I've decided so many things. I decided to take the queen out of Orion, etc. The boys came in. They brought 700,000 uh, true silent ones from the real universes down. They actually even moved the universe. They moved the galaxy so that there was more time. Yeah. Bigger, bigger picture. Who can get out of their little personal world here? We're galactic more so than the galactic people. They have no idea what's going on. There's a bigger picture that's going through all of creation, even beyond the Kalim God, etc. It's so cool, but someone's got to decide the adventure. And I'm at, you know, uh, the bottom of the barrel here, you might say, the physical realm. And they chose me to decide the adventure because they need the support. They knew that I would promote them.
and by the very fact that I promote them, they promote me and support me. You see, that's how it works. So when people sit there and criticize the new you and the new presentation, what they're doing is they're Xing themselves out of that wonder support, wonderful support by the real guides. And that's what the queen did. Claudia and I stood in front of her. She was 100% arrogant. And all the guides were there. And the true silent ones. These guys are 10,000 feet tall. They're just uh, shafts of light is what they are. And we said to her, all you have to do is just help us out on the earth here with what's going on because it's being destroyed. And uh, all that you see here will support you. You will have everything that you have and even more. But she said no. And so she went into the phantom zone because her karma is huge. Okay, so again, this is how it works. That's the risk taker position. Will you step up and support those that will support you? Look who, who will support you. Reba's are in the real guides. You want to think that they're imagination? Well, go right ahead. So as long as you think that, and as long as you have an attitude, well, guess what? You're only keeping yourself back from what is real and awesome more than any fantasy that you can imagine. It's even better than that. But you got to get through your own fantasies, too. And this support is very important because otherwise you got nothing because you're just going to go through more lifetimes like you have, you know, through the darkness, etc. And Claudia, as one example, when we did the uh, galactic stuff with the Orions, you know, she came through almost 40 years of the corporation, which she had to go through. She had to go through the dark tunnel and then uh, about six more years of Denami, which Darwin started, which was originally Adam. Uh, because, again, he was the renegade, he was the embezzler, which is fine. It's all part of it. And Harold's the puppet, and Joni's the takeover, and that's all fine. It's all part of it to see that. But finally she came here, and then she got with the, with uh, what we're doing, and I uh, decided the adventure, and we went for it, and this is what we're doing, and there's a bigger picture involved galactically. It's so cool. But, again, uh, you know, uh, there's huge resistance, too. Because those that control others, they don't want to let it up. But this is the privilege, this is the precious privilege of being able to recognize that, you know, you support, you know, what I'm presenting, which is Rebazar and the Real Guides and the All Is. You support that realistically, it will support you. That's a real support. Otherwise, all you have is your ideas. And the reptilians and the governments, etc., that's your backing. There's no neutral zone. There is your personal life, which you decide. And still, I don't just give everything away. I don't, you know, expect everybody to have, you know, just give it to them, etc. But you'll note that while the American Indians were here when they were really Indians, None of these things, these property rights and all this stuff existed. This all came from the European, from the uh, from the bankers, from the reptilians for control. That's what it's about. And so now you have rights and all that. And yes, people do. Hey, I respect that. But at the same time, I'm watching the world die. And for most people, what they're doing is they're utilizing their copyrighted marketing plan to add to the demise. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to step up and take what they're using that really doesn't benefit people and make it into a benefit. And you know what? I'm going to confront the criticism. I'm going to deal with it, whatever. Because you know what? We only got so much time. And that's it. So again, those uh, how fortunate are those that recognize who will really support you? Will you support them? Or will you just be a beggar? And, you know, this is where people expect the real guides to do some. You got to prove yourself just like a soldier in the army. You know, if you're part of the troop, you got to support the base. You got to support the rest of the troop and the army, et cetera, and, and the military that you're in. That's a very good example of support. You want support? You want backup? You know, just like the police when they're out there and they got the bad guys and they're outnumbered, they call for backup. Well, you know, if those policemen didn't support the rest of their policemen friends, well, guess what? Their buddies ain't going to show up. Yeah, see? So, again, when people are in trouble here, what do they do? You know, I know people that will have nothing to do with what I'm presenting. 
But all of a sudden, when things get really bad in their life, where do they come? They come to me. Will you help us, Dwayne? Will you help us figure this out? Well, gee, where were you when, you know, uh, you might say I needed you to do this or that, or you could have done this. Well, you know, well, I didn't have time. Well, the thing is, is that you got to earn your way and you think you can do it at the last minute. Well, good luck. It ain't like that. It's a step at a time. You build that and life sees you. This is what I'm trying to tell people. And that is, is that if you don't step up and take the risk and see how this works, take the time, then it's going to be too late. The thing is, is that you think that all of a sudden that it's just going to happen for you. It's like Noah building the boat. You know, the, the townspeople wanted the boat. They were so furious that they wanted to destroy it. But when the b- big flood came, they didn't prepare themselves. All of a sudden, wow, there is a big flood coming. See, Noah knew that. And now it's too late. You can't get on the boat because you know what? You didn't have the right attitude. You got to build that confidence. You got to prove yourself. You want to be supported by something very real that you cannot even consider? Will you take the risk to do that? I took the risk. 